Yeah, this one is for the fighters, the survivors. Keep fighting. Reach not a mic. Let's go. I give you honor, yeah. I give you the praise. When I think about how I spent so many days here. One evening I was in writing mode and I was listening to a particular beat that really connected with me. And as I was listening to the beat, it's as if something said, it's time to share. And I know what God wanted me to share about. I was a little bit hesitant because it's something personal and something that has affected much of my adult life. And that's my battle with chronic pain due to complications from scoliosis. In 2008, I was working in my first job after leaving un university as a bank teller. And I started to have these pains in my back. At first, I kind of ignored them, but they became so frequent and just got more and more intense to the point that if I stood up or sat down for five minutes straight, my back started to feel like it was tearing off. I remember being in front of customers at times and my hand would be shaking be below the desk because of the pain. So recognizing that this was not normal, I sought medical help and I was introduced to a specialist and I remember going to his home office for the first time and I had done an x-ray and he put up the x-ray on the screen, the light screen and his first comment was, wow, you should be in a lot of pain. What scoliosis is, is when you have a curvature in the spine, normally the spine is supposed to be straight up and down, but with scoliosis, there is a curvature in the spine and this curvature um, can cause pain, especially at the points where there are curves. Um, the curve changes direction. So we started, we started chiropractic care. I was going to the specialist very regularly and I got some relief, some relief after some time, but because I was still working at the bank, it's as if, you know, it kind of nullified the care that I was getting. So I felt like I had to make a decision and it wasn't the only you know, reason why I ended up leaving the job, but it played a big part. Around that time, I got involved in music and recording, but I was suffering and a lot of persons didn't, they didn't really know. Well, what was unique about Jonathan's situation was that, um, and please excuse me, vision situation, is that Normally, for scoliosis, the vast majority of persons with a scoliosis condition, the curve that exists in the thoracic spine, which is the upper back region, usually curves to the, to the right hand side. And the good thing about that is that the heart sits on the left. And so a curve to the left could potentially impact or impede the proper function of the heart. So, you know, fatigue, um, different things can happen as a consequence. Well, in Jonathan's case, his spine curved to the left. And as a consequence of that, it was a little bit more debilitating in his unique situation. But he had two curves, one to the left in the thoracic spine, and the other curve was to the right in the lumbar region, which is the lower back. So with all of what was experiencing or that he was experiencing, it affected his, his whole way of life. And the pain is one thing, but the other thing is that it saps your energy and it just left me with not much to do, to do activities. And you know, you can imagine, you know, being in your twenties, and that's the time when you're supposed to be, you know, exploring and meeting new people. You know, as a young Christian man, you want to meet the right girl and get married and all these things. But for me, you know, for a good block of time, you know, I was kind of out of service. And I remember one of those times I was just in my bed and I, I said to the Lord, like, what's next? Because I don't see I don't see with this ailment how I'm going to be able to lead a normal life. And it was at that point that God just started to reveal himself to me in such a unique way 
I started care with, with Dr. Neil Gardner and he, you know, he has brought me to a point where I'm able to, to, to function and lead a normal life, work and, and, and stuff. And I'm very grateful for what, what he has done. This song features Stephanie Hazel and Gary Masado, who are dear friends of mine for, for many years. Um, Stephanie is a very talented person and we've spoken for quite a while, wanting to do work together, do a song together, and you know, it, it just came together beautifully um, with her and the chorus and stuff. I'm a Virgin Gary, you know, he came in and sealed up the thing very nicely, you know, with what, with what he has done. The chorus of the song, it says, because I'm a winner, by his grace, I'm still standing in, in the faith. My God is great. I had to walk through some dark days, but now I see that my loss was gain. One of the things that I've learned through my journey is that, you know, God is not just this genie who is there to grant you every wish, you know. Um, yes, he can heal immediately. You know, I've experienced that as a young child, but he's more concerned with, you know, shaping you um, into more like his son, Jesus Christ, making you more Christ-like. And it's oftentimes through suffering and trials that you know we're able to be molded and shaped um, into into somebody who's more like more like Christ. You know, you know the Bible talks about in Romans five. You know, we glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. You know, and I just. When I look at my life, you know, I just see God's grace. You know, His grace is sufficient and His power is perfected in weakness. I mean, I mean, now I'm able to work. You know, I'm now married to a, a wonderful woman of God. You know, and still putting out music despite, you know, the, 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 the trials and the, the struggles. So I just give God our glory, you know, that I'm still standing here believing in Him, you know. So to those, you know, who are, you know, you might be experiencing ongoing illness, you know, I encourage you to, to develop your relationship with God. You know, He understands, He knows that, you know, He knows what you're going through. And, you know, let's face it, you know, Christians get sick and sometimes Christians even pass, you know, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they last because for the believer, he or she has a hope that is beyond this life, right? Um, and you know, we shouldn't, we shouldn't lose heart. And he, you can be strengthened in your inner man and you can have a joy, you know? So that is where true victory is. And somebody who is walking in that is a real winner. Yeah, I'm here to tell you that it's never over. And that...